We're not dodging the big issues with this WaterWise series. For example, can you grow fruit at home and be WaterWise? Well, the answer is yes. And should you be doing it? Well, absolutely. Growing your own fruit and veg at home is not only better for you, they taste better as well. But with things like summer fruit coming through, that's the apricots, nectarines and peaches, there's something really important you should be doing now to make sure that you remain WaterWise. Fruit trees use a fair amount of water when setting and producing fruits, but don't overwater them. In fact, watering at the rate of one drink a week maximum for a young tree, with no supplementary watering for a mature tree like this apricot, makes the world of difference to the intensity of flavour from the fruit you'll pick. If we're talking citrus, it's even more important because once the flowering is finished, the fruit size is set. Over water and your oranges will split just before they ripen. The next thing to do is thin the fruit out. Now, you'll get larger, plumper fruit and use less water trying to sustain a huge crop. Usually, they will grow in pairs or triples along the branches. Thin to one fruit instead of three. It saves water and delivers better quality fruit. Now, the next thing that you need to make sure you do, and it's probably the most important thing, is make sure you protect your fruit from that dreaded Queensland and Mediterranean fruit fly, because why would you go to all the effort and all that water to establish a beautiful fruit tree only to get a great crop and then lose it to these fruit fly maggots that will just spoil it. It's a waste of water. Over the years, I've tried everything. Baits, lures, sticky traps and systemic insecticides, and they all work to some extent, but require some work to maintain their effectiveness. Now, Richgrow, a West Australian family-owned business in its 100th year, has released an option I think you're going to love because it works and it's naturally based using pyrethrum and garlic. Now, this is quite a unique way to control the pest. You see, it doesn't work on the theory of luring the fly to the tree like most baits actually do. This actually kills the adult and the larvae on contact. So basically, once you apply it, you're controlling it instantly. It's a lot more effective and even better than that, this is one particular product that you can spray over the foliage and the fruit and it won't spoil it. It's something you should repeat ideally on a weekly basis in December and January if you want 100% total control of fruit fly. A 500ml bottle will make up 20 litres of spray. And did I mention that its basis is natural ingredients and that means that you only have one day's withholding period. You can pick 24 hours after the fruit has been treated. That's a very important thing. Who wants to be eating chemicals? Certainly not me. Common sense should always prevail with any spray. Don't spray on a windy day. Cover up your hands with rubber gloves and face with a mask when you spray. The garlic has the added benefit of repelling flies from your trees as well, which makes this such a terrific weapon in saving fruit and subsequently water when growing your own home orchard. The winter has been a lot cooler where I live up in the hills and that's meant that I'm planting a lot of things a little later than I normally would, like tomatoes. Now, tomatoes are another plant that when the fruit comes along, it can be infected by both fruit fly and a lot of other bugs. So it's a really good idea to make sure you're spraying your tomatoes as well. That's just gonna ensure you get all the fruit for yourself and you don't waste one drop of water.